Hey darlings, this is Jessica and I am bringing you a Bible journaling process today um, in my Illustrated Faith Bible. I am, as you know, going through Redemption Unwrapped, which is a devotional by By the Well for God. And I am so enjoying going through all the gifts that um, are mentioned in the word about all the gifts that Jesus gives us um, through his sacrifice, through um, his birth, through his story. And so I really wanted to do a page that kind of embodied all of that. And so I'm using almost every stamp set <laughs> that was um, with the kit and that you could have got as an add-on with the kit. I am using Wonder of It All, Practically Perfect, and Redemption Unwrapped. And in each one of these, they have um, they have little gifts. So my thought process was, I want to make a tree. I want to make a tree with all these gifts, um, basically signifying how lavish we are with all the gifts that Jesus brings us or that Jesus gives us through his birth and his sacrifice, through his story. And so as you can see, I get my acrylic stamp. This is not science, but um, I'm using Saison ink because I am going to use a permanent ink. I was going for a monochrome type page is what I wanted to do. So that's why I used the black and white washi and I'm using black Saison. And I wanted to add a little bit of color with watercolors. Um, our kids come with um, Daniel Smith watercolors, which is a very high end um, watercolor. And it comes with watercolor cards, as you can see over at the top. And I wanted to use um, just a little bit of color. So I wanted to do a monochrome page with a pop of color here and there. And so as you can see, I'm using up, I took out all the gift stamps that are throughout the different stamps uh, that you could have gotten as an add-on. And I'm just gonna layer them on. I'm just gonna chunkify this as much as possible, try to fit them in some type of tree and fingers crossed that it'll look like a tree at the end. <laughs> and so um, I am kind of just fidgeting, seeing where it would look best, trying to keep in mind that it has to go kind of like at an angle. Um, I was, at first I was trying to figure out whether I should start from the, t from the top, but then I was like, that's crazy. I really should start from the bottom. So I really wanted it to be, to look like it was going up. Um, and then I found the issue of, should I, um, cut up the stamps, but I didn't want to, I wanted to keep them the way they were, but then there were small spaces that were left. So this one stamp has three on it and, um, I wanted to use that middle stamp um, to get in that little crevice. So what I'm gonna do, and I've seen this um, by Lindsay Decor so many times, I'm gonna stamp it on to the back of this, stick, this sticker, um, which also comes with the kit, but the stickers on the other side aren't there. So I was gonna, I stamp it on there, I cut out the other two so I can stamp the middle one that's kind of thin and long, and you see how it fits perfectly in that little space. So that's what I did, and that's called masking. Um, I am so grateful that there are so many great creative people like Lindsay, like Elisa, that um, they make these YouTube videos and we can learn tips and techniques. So definitely check them out. They are creative members um, by the Well for God and they always have good tips like this. So I keep um, stamping and masking and basically you just stamp it on some paper. They usually do it with sticky notes, cut it out and then... Um, put it over the um, the actual one that you want to not messed up with the ink. So that that's why it's called masking. And then you um, stamp over it and then take the paper out and it gives the effect that it's like behind it versus it being on top of it, if that makes sense. And so I'm sure you've seen this before. I go ahead and mask again. And I'm just masking the very top of the presence um, basically is the, point, is the point that would be affected. Um, I'm also using halves of the stamps um, because I'm filling up the little corners. And you'll see how I do that there. Then you take off the little piece of paper and it, it, it works. I mean, it's a great technique. 
and um, you'll see I'm also using a chamois. You can get a chamois at the Buy the Well for God um, shop. I'm gonna list that below. And that helps me, even though this is permanent ink, um, I still like to clean it off just a little bit so it's not too bad. And like I said, I'm using Stazon. I'm gonna use a little bit of watercolor. Stazon ink, because it's permanent, when I use the watercolor, and watercolor obviously reacts to water. Um, if I would use a regular ink, what, what ends up happening is it would the black would go into the color and the color would mush all together, it'd be an ugly brown. So we don't want that. And then you just saw me, I just lined up a couple of more stamps just to see how I was gonna end it off. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep. That's the great part of these acrylic stamps. You can kind of play with them and put them in spaces and see how, um, how it turn out and um, it is not permanent yet so you can go ahead and make those decisions afterwards here I was gonna do a little bit of masking but since it was just um, a little bit of the bow I was like you know what it's not gonna be that big of a deal I don't think I need to mask that and it actually turned out perfect and it's okay that the bow is kind of going over you can still read it which is perfect so like I said um, I my whole thought was monochrome and putting this towards the top um, ends my Christmas tree hopefully it looks like a Christmas tree it does to me and then I wrap it up I am also going to pull out uh, the fanciful alpha that you could also have gotten as an add-on in the stamps guys definitely if you're gonna get these stamps which you know Lori and Tom always bring out the best stamps um, with the kits and they're all so good sometimes you want to get them all the best time to get them is during the pre-sale because you get a discount for getting um, multiple so definitely don't wait get them in the pre-sale if you want multiple stamps and you don't have to get them all but if you want um, more stamps the ones that come as an add-on then definitely get them in the pre-sale because you get a discount and I'm all for discounts so it comes with one stamp set, but the one that I'm using, it's the Fancy Full Alpha. And I love how wonky and um, how whimsical these letters are. They have like dots, polka dots, stripes. Um, some of them have like a dotted, um, a dotted type pattern. The other ones have like a triangle type pattern. I love it. It's so cute. And um, so I'm using these, and I don't know why they remind me of Christmas, but they do. So I'm using these um, to make my title. And, um, and then now I'm going to use the wooden blocks to make the rest of my title. So the two words that I want to pop out the most are the ones I'm going to use the big, bold, fanciful alpha for. And because it's a little bit of a longer title, um, I'm going to use the smaller words um, with these small alphas. These alphas were $3 in the Target dollar spot. The wooden alphas, I like them. They're great. They're super fast. Um, I think I've said that before, but for you new followers, that's where I got them for. $3 dollar spot, wooden alphas. And so the title that I picked was Jesus, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, I'm basically trying to remember all of the gifts that I have been going through and still will continue to go through in this 25 day Advent devotional that Lori and Tom put out. And um, I want to remember that we are receiving gifts that we cannot earn. It's given to us. And the beautiful thing about Jesus is as we speak to other people about Jesus and they get to know Jesus and they accept Jesus, that those gifts just keep giving because then they receive those gifts also when they come to Christ. And just like my title says, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So many gifts and literally this plethora of gifts that I put there, that's how I feel now that um, I'm going through this study and learning about all the gifts that we receive, I literally feel like I'm receiving all the gifts that um, Jesus and I'm learning about them. I, and I want to share them with the world. So I
I go ahead and do my tab and I'll add a Simply October Heart. You'll see that in the picture. And that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you how I did this monochrome page and how I did the masking technique. And you'll see the finished product in my pictures. And I hope you meet me next time for another video. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys.